Okay, hello, good morning. Uh, I think I've got everything that I need. Straighten you up a little bit there. Um, so I s explained yesterday how I did um, a bit more colourful stuff with the acrylic, putting some white acrylic down and putting some yellow over that. Um, without the white underneath it, it mightn't have become so bright. I mean, it's still not a crazily bright. When you see the sunflowers, they're incredible. Uh, and so I'm going to start using oil paint today. When I say start using, I'm actually going to kind of start using that and start using for God's sake. Um, what I mean to say is I want this to be swift and just throw it away. You know, I want it to be done. Uh, and so not to become kind of manipulative with the paint and everything, but just try and do what I want and get out of here it's another sunny day <laughs> okay yeah so there we are you see it's all quite dark in the background there but maybe that's okay I might lighten it up down here a little bit I think that makes me feel like I should really use the acrylic again if I want to do big bold things um, and I do still have the acrylic out here so I say big bold things I mean just simply oh, I put my brushes into the kitchen off um, okay, I get them off. I think that's maybe a sign that I should just stick with the oil paint go for it yeah I'm just gonna forget about the acrylic there now if, if midnight takes up her usual spot under the table she'll get a rude awakening there with the acrylic paint on there no so there's a leaf here yeah, I think what I want to do really is to inject some serious colour. Um, to inject some brightness, like real brightness, into those petals. And I think it's more the brightness than the shaping of them that's, a, that's kind of um, called for. You know, the bright brightness of that. Let me see. So I'm going to, I've got um, the, the paint, oh you can't see me at all, I've got the paint glued to the table there. This is what I do sometimes, I stick, uh, I t took off the top layer of the paper palette and put the paint on there. And I'm going to mix it on here now, because I like being able to see the colour that I'm aiming for as I'm making it. So I'm holding up the palette. There you are. You know, I'll hold up the palette like that in order to see if I'm happy with the colour that's there. I am actually. Okay, here we go. And of course, it being um, oil, it'll be bright anyway. So that's lemon yellow now mixed with cadmium yellow. Okay. Um, be one of those ones where um well I'm not gonna preempt anything. Let's just see what happens and focus. Great using colour really. And the kind of viscosity of it is exciting. really at the edges there. Okay, I'll be needing some more of that yellow. I should give a shout out to the SAA. This is their lemon yellow that I'm using. And actually most of the oil paint I'm using is from the Society of All Artists, SAE, their own brand, which is good, good stuff. Now, where am I going to put this lot? It's still here, nice and bright. Kind of picking up the acrylic from yesterday, so 
the, the acrylic in places is already raised in relief and the oil paint is kind of hanging on to that then um, which is fine you know that's fine all right now in between there I do need some the yellow ochre or something and between these bright petals here there needs to be something more subdued mm, that's not quite it I don't think it needs to be more of a grayish color so I'm going to mix the cadmium red and the sap green together and it's uh, with my eyes half closed now I think yeah that the the color is that dark really there it's okay and there'll be some parts of this floor too I reckon that'll have that same dull yellow so I'm just half closing my eyes still here and um, putting in the dark yellow wherever I see it. Maisie, what are you up to? There's a dark fuller behind there as well, which I've kind of ignored because in a way I feel like it only disturbs that one. No. Here's I'll use some of the dark yellow over here as well. I can barely see that flower with the, you know, I'm having to kind of go like this, Norman Rockwell style. I'll maze, you're not going to start now, so surely be to God. She's starting to moan at Margot. I think in a way she wants Margot to play with her. And I think Margot would probably be game as well, but just now and then Maisie turns into a predator and kind of spoils the fun. Spoils the kind of playful vibe. Yeah, she's gone back out now and she's laying down on the yoga mat in the garden. It's her favourite spot, especially when I want to use it. Hmm, not sure, but it's okay. You see, I think the main thing really I had planned on doing today, well before I did it, I'm going to put more yellow in when it's there. The main thing I planned on doing today was finding the greens, the dark greens. Um, in the base of the flowers I was going to put some bright yellows here but I'm actually I think when I have closed my eyes really these petals here are significantly brighter like much brighter than most of these there's just some flashes of little flashes of um, bright yellow maybe on some of these tips so I suppose I could put some touches of bright yellow there That. And maybe there's one here. Remember now there's the dirty yellow paint that's there already as well that's wet. So any of the brights are going to need to be placed on and left alone rather than mixed in with that yellow ochre paint. One last splodge there. I'm so happy with the shape of this carry-on over here. It's like too perfect or something. But I think mostly what's up there is that the green isn't dark enough. So that's where I'm going to start with the dark green. Um, I'm just looking for a good brush to use here now. This will be okay. Yeah, so I'm going to just place some dark green by mixing it with the ultramarine blue and the Van Dyke brown. And um, I'm even actually not going to put any green in there. I'm just going to start with that because I want to really establish the darks in here. 
so there's a very dark patch mm, it's kind of here can you see okay okay I think you're all right and then there's another very dark patch that's below it you know I'm forgetting what it is that I'm painting here now I'm really just looking for the shapes of the darks I think it was maybe Monet who said that he said all painting is really is finding seeing seeing a bit of color seeing the shape it is the color it is making that shape making that color and putting it down and then back to the palette make the shape of the next color make the color <laughs> make the next color make the shape of it on your paper put it put it down you know see that see the shape of it and put, put it down in that shape on your canvas and just carry on doing that and that's what painting is for money reckoned just one color one shape after another step by step that's what I'm finding generally in life is if I can manage someone said that there's grace there's grace given to us just for the day that we have not for the future or the past but just for the day that's in it we've plenty of grace to help us deal with that day but see as soon as we start to try and predict and, and go ahead of ourselves or um, as soon as we start to uh, look into the future too much or, or worry about the past and all the rest of it that's when we kind of fall short then of our allocation of grace <laughs> we, we don't have the same because it's only really for the day we're in the moment we're in really now so we've got that dark there and then you see between that and the petals now there's I hope I'm not covering it's sure you can hardly see anyway <sighs> when I bring you down here and turn that so that you can really see a little bit more closely what I'm doing with that flower I'm just straighten up the door what I was going to say is between between the green leaves and the bright yellow petals there are some petals that are shooting in the same direction sorry some leaves that are shooting in the same direction as the petals are and I want to paint those in because they're kind of they form a bridging gap I think between the leaves and the petals and the floor yeah and then forget that now and I'm going to go down here um, sometimes just enough is just enough and I'm going to go down there and start making that shape shape of these petals uh, leaves that are kind of splaying down it's a very nice dark one there now that could really help to outline the bottom of the flower ah Maisie don't you start now sometimes I reckon that when Maisie starts it means that I need to stop whatever I'm doing because she might be my little um, alarm clock for overdoing things and there's a couple of leaves still shooting down even over there and then there's one there and here Yeah, I think we're okay. This needs to be darker, which I don't have to do every single thing. That's the, that's the thing I need to remember often, is that less is more sometimes. Uh, half closing my eyes now, still seeing darks and lights. Hmm. I could do with standing back and taking stock again now and see really where is it important to fill in and where can I just leave well alone because I think often in the acrylic layer underneath there's enough said anyway um, 
and if I am doing stuff really with, I, it would be the big brush I could go for rather than to be fanning around with the small one so let me see now um, that leaf there I think could do with a bit more tone and it'll have a more of a brightness behind it and the, the wall behind it in a minute oh I think I'm going to sneeze that up there bit of a sap green I reckon on the underside of that leaf because it's not really that dark it's got some colour to it you know maybe it's not even eating her breakfast that's the first thing I put her food out and she didn't eat it I think she's getting a bit bored of it though. She's been slightly less enthusiastic recently. Standing all over the lead of the mic, but I can't bother picking it up. There we are now. Um, just going to put some brighter green in there. Palette knife sometimes is the thing when the, all the brushes are dirty. I know Damien, my friend Damien Collins, he's an art teacher, he says to um, to mix with the palette knife, not to be mixing with your brush and then using the brush, but to mix with the palette knife. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll be sensible on there and do that a bit more. A more white. And I think a bit more blue. There seems to me to be a kind of a bit of an ultramarine blue thing going on with the sunflower sunflower leaves I'm just finding where I put some of the lights yesterday with the acrylic and re-emphasizing them with the roughly the same color in the oil getting a, bit, a little bit um there's a little bit of a slapdash feel but it's not that really it's more an impatience to keep lively and not um not become labored you know keep to keep things ticking over actually to keep the momentum keep it, the energy alive everywhere and that's one of the things i like uh, it was suzanne who said it i think he said my painting holds hands and comes up together so it's like kind of letting it all stay energized and that keeps it coherent too I think it keeps things working together all right so what I want to do now is um I want to bring some of the background color up in here so I need a fairly nice sharp point on that brush I'm using one of my cleanest brushes newest brushes to get the edge that I want there. I want the um the background colour. I'm gonna make the background colour. And here I am mixing with the brush again, but I've got some um tarps on the brush this time now, so it's going to be a little bit easier to manipulate. And no, you see that is actually green stem. So I'm gonna put green stem there because it it reads as though at the moment it's part of the background. Oh, there she is eating her breakfast now. It reads as though it's part of the background, so I'm putting the green in before I start putting the background colour over it again. And I think I'll put some green there too. green it was sap green but I mixed it with some ultramarine blue to give it a deeper tone there might be some in that leaf there all right hmm 
where am I going now? I think I will continue. Yeah, so this little patch over here is what I'm considering injecting a bit of brightness to. A bit like that, kind of shaping the, back, the leaves through, identifying the background through the leaves. There's a part of me, as soon as I put down the colour of that background, I see a similar tone in the leaves themselves. And I'm inclined to do that as well. Because the background colour there is as bright as some of these leaves that are um, here. They're long, thin, skinny kind of shapes. Maybe we need to identify them a bit more fully with um, some dark green as well. But just for now, it seems important to, to put down some of the, the colourful lights here in oil paint. More colourful. So lemon yellow sap green will give me here a still still a bright um color but more colorful more green oh could it do where else am i seeing that now take the heat off that one over there and just travel around And some some parts I've kind of lost sight of altogether, but I'm trusting that if I just place down what I'm seeing now, that uh, that'll be good enough. That I don't have to go back into discovering the anatomy of it. Over the past few days, it has shifted and changed a little bit, and uh, that's my own. Um, you know, that's due to me not kind of continuing it hours which I'm happy about because I think I've been really enjoying the um just having things to tip away at occasionally as I'm meandering around doing the housework and stuff it's been quite nice and I think I might have been even more invested in it if I had spent hours and hours working on it whereas now if it goes pear-shaped I'm okay with that and it, it, it's veering on the edge of being completely um ugly <laughs> it's okay you can see it uh, and maybe getting away with a wildness I don't know but I'm happy enough playing along that edge as well like because it's a good lesson for me to it's a good place for me to explore that edge of um yeah it's kind of a garishness like too much and willing being willing to risk losing stuff to to really um push the boat out as well you see and you can't just arrive at it you, there needs to be a testing of the boundaries i think both of those both of those areas and testing the boundaries is a lot easier in a painting than it is in life and relationship i reckon so Oh. 
And I think the thing about um, garishness is that it's, it's something to do with the proportion of dark to light, the, the sharpness of contrast. Do you think red would be good there, the actual colour of the tabletop? I wonder if I've got a red sheet of paper I could use to try it out. Would it be a good idea to bring the red tabletop up to where it is there? You know, I suppose I've nothing to lose really, have I? <laughs> Although it mightn't work at all and I might end up them feeling like, oh. And you, you see, what I would do there now, if I was any good, is I would get a piece of paper, paint it red and stick it up there and just see. Yeah. Got some cadmium acrylic and some pictures from a failed life drawing session the other night. You know, online, I thought online uh, stuff was just a pain. I, I wasn't so into it. And then I had a great session with somebody, Kamachi, who's a lovely model. Actually, I must pay her for that. And it, it went really well. It was Topaz Pauls who does reconfigure um, life, online life drawing classes. But Kamachi had her kimono on and I really enjoyed that. And then the next day I thought, oh, that was great. I'll do that again. And I just didn't get into it at all. The, sec the second day it was with a different crowd as well. And I just, I don't know, it, it was again a sunny day and you know what I'm like with the sunshine. I can't be, I can't be doing with being inside when it's bright outside. No, what do you think of that? I might go for it. Hmm. It'll shift it in a new direction altogether. Maybe I should just, oh, I was going to say wait till tomorrow. That's a bit sheepish though, isn't it? Oh God. You see, the thing is, you say you can take it back again, but there's something shifts in a picture when you do something like that. Even if you lift it all off again, it, the, the memory of it somehow stays, I think. And I'm going to do it anyway. Right, so, and I want it to be up here. As far up as that, I think. And I could use acrylic. I was going to say I should, I'll use oil paper. I could use acrylic because all of that is still acrylic there. So maybe I'll do that. That seems less of a statement than doing with the oil paint. And then I could just print it on, can't I? Oh God. And I'm not going to leave it textured like that, don't worry. The only brushes I've got around me here are either my good, are either my good watercolor brushes or um, they're laden with oil. I'm just going to use this one. It's clean enough. I have no water. Oh, I have my drinking water. Okay. Gosh, I wonder. I'm kind of wondering why did I do this? We'll see anyway what it looks like. This is not the bright red statement that I had anticipated because. Um, the purple is showing through the acrylic. Really shouldn't use my water bottle now for that, should I? It's too late now. Okay, so let's see. I suppose if I like it a lot, no, I don't really. Um, I was going to say if I like it a lot, I could always make it darker again with the. Um, I could make it brighter with the same colour in oil over the top. Now, just to be clear there, you can't work in acrylic over oil generally, but because there was no oil paint down there, I felt it was okay. What's it looking like? It's okay. I think that could be less distinct, that edge. Hmm. Yeah, sure, it's not been that dramatic a thing. I could put a bit of cadmium red now around the rim here. This is cadmium red in oil. I see a bit of a reflection of it on the rim of the vase. It'll actually be a touch lower down than that. 
And there's some at the back of it as well. Things are going in, in a different direction altogether with the red coming in. Hmm. I might want to stop. I think I'm 80% done, aren't I? Um, if I was to do something more, it would be to bring in the background a little bit softer there. No, I'm only looking for stuff. Okay, I'm going to stop. I didn't think I would stop at that point, but I am stopping at that point. We'll see. If it's dry tomorrow and I feel like I'm I love it, I'm loving this, I might um, deepen it with some of the red. Like, you know, the other day how I was doing the daisies and um, I brought the cadmium red and the oil paint in there. It's fierce, thick and luscious, you know, oil paint can be like that. So maybe I might want to do that with the tabletop there. I'm not sure yet though. I don't know if I fully agreed with that red being in there. All right, so I'm going to let you go now today. That's 30 minutes. We're actually doing quite well with the uh, 30 minute stints. I would say rarely does anyone actually listen to the full thing. I mean, I know myself, I speed it up in order to kind of see if there's anything that has to be uh, censored out of it, you know. <laughs> Maisie, do you want to come over here and say goodbye? <whistles> come on. She rarely comes to me, you know, when I ask her to. It's more when I don't want her to that she jumps up on me. Hi, Maisie. I'm reluctant to turn you around because the, the living room is such a mess uh, that, yeah, I won't bother. There's midnight's at the window. He can hear. Oh, there she is. And Maisie, Maisie, see her head there. That's Maisie. Okay. All right. Uh, have a lovely day. I hope it's sunny where you are, if that's what you like. Um, I'm off for a walk with uh, with Maisie now into the woods here. I'll take you down to see that a little bit more closely. That's it there. I think it's okay. I think it's on the right side of ugly. <laughs> okay, bye.